Hey everybody, Jamie here, and prom is coming up, which means you need to get everything ready for your big night. In past episodes, I showed you how to make your own prom corsage, as well as some bedazzled heels, but today I wanted to give you a craft that could help you show everything off by making a centerpiece for your prom pictures. Get ready as I show you how to make your own push pin pop art. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so in order to make your push pin pop art, you're going to need push pins or thumbtacks or whatever you call them. I think technically thumbtacks have a wider, flatter base, whereas push pins are skinnier and jut out more. You could use either, but I would recommend going with thumbtacks if you want a more professional look. Oh, and you're going to be going through these things pretty quickly, so I recommend nabbing about 300 before you get started, which for me was about three boxes worth. Now there's two different ways to do this craft. You can either put it on a canvas for hanging, or you can make it big enough that it stands up all on its own. Let's start with the hanging route. For that you're going to need a canvas, paint and a paintbrush, tape, scissors, a writing utensil, and a sheet of paper. The first step is to paint your canvas. The only thing you'll want to make sure of here is that your paint color contrasts the color of your tack so that your design stands out. For example, since the default color for most thumbtacks is gold or silver, I would recommend a color like blue or purple or even black. If you wanted, you could even skip the whole painting thing altogether and instead follow the technique that I showed you for my push pin key holder DIY in order to cover up your canvas with a fabric just like burlap. This is going to add more of a vintage design to your prom photos. Once your canvas is ready to go, it's time to create your template. If you're feeling bold, you can sketch your design straight onto your canvas but I don't feel that bold, so if you're like me, you can instead print out any word, letter, shape, or pattern from the computer instead. I decided to print out the year 2015 and then swap the zero for a heart shape. No matter which template you decide upon, the next step is to trace it onto your canvas. Place your paper neatly onto your canvas, taping everything down to keep it in place. Then use your writing utensil to slowly and carefully trace your design onto your canvas. All that's left to do is to push in your push pin. Carefully stick in your thumbtack side by side Side, working your way up, down, left, or right. You can follow your lines directly or treat them as a border first before filling in the middle. Make sure not to leave too big of a gap between pins while at the same time not having your pins overlap so greatly that they can't stick securely to your canvas. Keep going until your pattern is complete. Here's what it looks like if I followed the lines completely, what it looks like if I filled in some of my pattern, and what it looks like as a connected word as opposed to separated numbers. And you're all done. Now you can hang your artwork up in between you and your date for your photos, and you can keep it in your room as a memory of prom. Actually, how cute would it be if you took your favorite photos from prom and then used any extra thumbtacks that you had to stick those photos into your canvas? Yeah, photos of your canvas on your canvas. Hashtag meta. I love this style of push pin pop art, but if you wanted to make your design stand alone for shelf or desk decor, you're going to need a cutting tool, craft or spray glue, and foam board. I recommend foam board that's at least a half of an inch thick so that way your tacks don't poke out on the other side. If you only have a thinner supply, however, no worries. Just glue together a few pieces worth to get an overall thicker board. Now this type of artwork is meant for leaning, so you can either prop it up against a colorful wall or you could check out my DIY cell phone holder hacks tutorial in order to create your own kickstand for your artwork to lean against. Or if you want it to stand upright, then just glue together foam board until your base is thick enough for your project to stand all on its own. Again, you're going to need a template to work off of, but instead of thin lines, you're going to want your shape simple or word to be bubbly. Not like, you know, tee hee, I'm the word love bubbly, but like a thicker, rounder font. Anyway. To give you some variety, I've chosen both the shape of a heart as well as the word prom. No matter what you decide to go with, make sure your entire design is connected. For example, if you're going to be going with a word, then I recommend having it in cursive so that way all the letters could be attached. All right, we're ready to rock. Okay, I was just stretching out my thumb really. Okay, here we go, step one. The first step is to glue your template to your foam board. Make sure to use spray glue, a glue stick, or a thin layer of liquid glue so that your paper doesn't wrinkle. Press your paper down firmly to keep it flat and free of air bubbles. Once the glue has set, use your cutting tool to cut out your template completely from your foam board. You'll need to work super slowly and carefully here to keep the foam board's edges crisp and neat. To give you an idea of how long this takes, I had to go over my markings in both directions before my foam board would actually separate. Keep going until all extraneous foam board has been removed and you're left with your final base template design. At this point, you're more than welcome to paint your base if you didn't want a white background. Either way, you're now ready for step three, the tack attack. 
otherwise known as just pushing in your push pins. Slowly and carefully push in your tack side by side, overlapping slightly if needed, and continuing until your entire template is complete. If you've got a big shape to fill like I do with my heart, start along the outside border and work your way around until the entire edge has been completed. Then fill in the remaining blank space, outside to inside, overlapping your pins when necessary. I used exactly 300 thumbtacks for my heart template, which is seven inches by seven inches. Keep going until your entire design has been filled, which for me took less than 10 minutes. Now, I've just shown you a few basic designs, but totally change things up by decorating your push pins with paint or glitter, or by changing up your base with cork board or wood. For less than $10 and in under an hour, you now have an amazing craft that can serve as background to your prom photos, or as a selfie prop for the limo, or on the dance floor. Unless you think that idea is tacky, which it is because it's made of tax. How did you make your push pin pop art? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. If you heart this DIY, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To give you an idea of how long this takes, I had to go over my markings twice in both directions before my, before, before my board. <laughs> Hey, you can see how I arrived at that conclusion. I had to go for my markings twice in both directions before my, before I did it again. Before my, <laughs> man.